when I was reading one of the books of the Renaissance, I saw one painting by Rafael de Sancio that was one of the biggest uh, creators in, in art of the, in that area. Inspired me the background that is nothing but a recreation of this famous painting about the uh, scientists and the wise people in, that, in the history of the world. So that inspired me to paint this, and I make a copy of this. And then say, well, I can, instead of putting the people, the science on that area, or the antiquity, like Greeks, etc., I put doctors in there. And these are real doctors in the history of the medicine development. You have, for instance, you have the Greeks, you have the Egyptians, and you have the, the Michelangelo, the, he was an anatomist. And this woman in here represents humanity. You have the baby here that is part of the humanity. This lady is nothing but a nurse. This is Florence Nightingale. And all these people in here are real doctors that has developed the uh, medicine. This is Harvey that discovered the circulation of the blood. And this is Dr. Fault, who was an anatomist. And these are all the doctors of the Middle Ages who studied the body and did several studies of medicine. This is Dr. Pinel. This is Dr. McDonald, that was the first doctor to do a hysterectomy in the America and the United States. This is Paul D. White, who uh, introduced in the United States electrocardiography. This is Dr. Cushing. This is a neurologist. Uh, I don't remember if it was in Boston or in Rochester. And this is Dr. Lister and Dr. Uh, Hemlich, Dr. Pasteur, Dr. Uh, did the uh, studies in Koch, Dr. Koch. And this is Ronkin who discovered the X-rays. Uh, this is Lavoisier, who did the studies in uh, oxygen. This is Madame Curie, and this is Dr. Uh, Walter Reed, uh, who went to Panama for the construction of the Canal of Panama to control malaria. So that's the history of medicine. That's not under a recreation of the uh, idea of uh, Raphael. So this is how do you I paint this in not inspired more by Raphael, his background. That's it. Okay.